Hi, I'm Tommy, the National Technical Lead at VVM, where I assist our project teams throughout the design and documentation process by providing workshops, technical review, knowledge sharing, and guidance. This process is communicated on drawings. For me, a drawing is an artwork. It's an art of exploration, an art of development, and an art of documentation. And when I do my drawings, I draw them on iPad Pro using Morfolio Trace. Why Morfolio Trace? Well, I'm not that tech savvy and I like things to be straightforward. And it has five user-friendly features that I usually use to do my drawings. What are they? Let's take a look. The first one is the selection tool that you can utilize this to copy and paste details or typical details when creating an assembly of facade or any building details or junctions. Second feature that I tend to use a lot as well is the area tool. I don't really use it to measure the area. In fact, I actually use it to color my details. Another tool that I use a lot is the ruler tool. This provides me ability to draw straight lines for any material that is factory fabricated, such as glazing, aluminum extrusion, aluminum plate, or steel plate, or even timber plank. The ability of doing a smooth line by adjusting the smoothness level is another feature that I use when I draw curve cladding, curve object, or even circular column. And lastly, the layers features in Morfolio that allow me to adjust the transparency is one of my favorite features in Morfolio Trace that I use a lot in achieving the outcome of the drawings that I want. With a lot of drawings I have to utilize in communicating the process of the design development during workshops or review, rather than using the paper tool that I used to use. With Morfolio Trace, it helped me to work more efficiently because obviously A, I save papers, I don't use paper anymore, and B, it allowed me to have multiple layers of traces that I could utilize to create my details, a workshop with the team markups, and all sort of uh, information there that I can scribble on top of that. The up to a very detailed axonometric that I will show you my process later on. Starting from setting up the drawings, I tend to use a custom setup, a blank A3 page with a one-in-one -one scale. The current layers, I would call it the drafting layers where I use the pencil tools to create my drafting lines. With those drafting lines, it can be quite confusing because you have so many lines that I created to represent the zones of the junction of the building and to think about the detail process here. Hence, I utilize a lot of the colors from the architecture palette to differentiate those lines. The next process is creating a layer for the working drawing lines. This is where I utilize the pen tools playing with line weights varies between 1.6 for anything being cut such as slabs, cladding, glazing where I use 1.0.8 and 0.4 for more of the refined material such as aluminum extrusions and any sort of projected lines behind. This will give me a great output that show a clarity of the drawings including when you zoom it to one in five details showing all those interfaces how the detail works. The next process is giving colors to these drawings. This is where I tend to use marker tools to play around with the colors and the area tools that will give me opportunity to color this more efficiently. And lastly, I will adjust all those layers, organizing it based on where's in front, where's at the back, what I want to see, and there's the outcome, the whole details. And that's it. That's the five in five drawing tips and process that I tend to use in creating my axonometry. With the drawings, you can express your thought. That's the design. It's an art to explore your design. It's an art to develop your design. It's an art to do the detailing and documenting. For me, the drawings is your artwork. So, those are the five in five process that I usually use when I do my details using Morfolio Trace 
on iBet Pro. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'm Tommy from DVN.